In this video, I want to show you how you can create a home media server by connecting an external storage to the USB port of your router. Step 1 is to insert the storage that contains the media files that you want to share on your home media server in the router's USB port. Step 2. Open a web browser and log in to your router's admin page using the IP address of the router. If you don't know the IP address, open a command prompt and then type ipconfig and look under default gateway. This would be the address of the router. So put it here and hit enter. Put the password for the admin of your router and hit enter. Hover over settings and click USB sharing. So now I'm going to activate the media server category. So on the status it is disabled. I'm going to click here to make it enabled. And here you can put the name you want for this media server. So simply I'm going to name it KST for knowledge sharing tech. Media server. And then I'm going to click on save. You should wait for the router to save the configuration. Usually it's around 30 seconds. And here's the settings saved. And for media server, you don't have to configure any other setting. Now that the media server is enabled, all the devices that are able to stream media content on your Wi-Fi network will be able to access this media server. I'm going to show you two devices. First, the Windows 10, and then I'm going to show you later my Roku TV also. So in Windows 10, you have two options to do it with native programs in Windows. If you open Explorer and you go to Network, you see here that you have KST Media Server that is now available here. If you right-click on it and click Open Media Player, it will take a couple of seconds and then here you click on media server and as you see here under media server I have my videos so the USB that I inserted only has two videos so you can play these videos directly here let me show you I'm gonna put the volume down and then click on play and you see this is a video playing and the second option is to do it through Films and TV. And this is an app also in Windows 10. So in the search box, type Films. And then choose Films and TV. And click on Personal. And then Media Servers. It will take a couple of seconds to detect the media server. And here it is. If you click on it. And then let's see here the video, for instance, also. And you click on All Videos. It also detected both videos and also of course you can click a video here and you can play it. Now let me switch to an external camera and show you on my Roku TV how I can play a media content from the media server that we just configured. To stream media from the media server on your Roku TV you have to go to Roku Media Player And then here, if you select all, let's say, it will detect your media server here directly. As you see, it detected KST media server. So just select it. And then if you want to play music, you go to music. And let's say all music. And here I have a couple of music pieces. And also, if you want videos, you go to video. And you're going to see that it will detect the same two videos here. And of course, if you play one of the videos, they will show directly streaming from the media server. And that was all. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please share it, subscribe to my channel, and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.